in how they can understand how the Kalahari high pressure influences South Africa's seasonal weather. It's important that you know the dynamics of air and how it relates to temperature and pressure. Um, let's begin with the relationship that cold air has with temperature and pressure, atmospheric pressure, that is to say. When temperatures are low, we air at cold air, air, and cold air by nature is heavy and dense, and so it tends to sink down and apply or exert a lot of force on the surface. Now, this force creates a high pressure on the surface or creates an area of high pressure on the surface. And so now we know that cold air um, is associated with high pressure on the surface. And cold air usually um, is found when temperatures are low. Now when we relate this to um, the seasons that we have, so during winter, it's important to know that during winter you have low temperatures. And if you have low temperatures, that means you would have cold air. And what does cold air tend to do? Well, it tends to sink down as we just discussed. And so when it sinks down, that means it's going to create or exert a lot of force on the surface and therefore create an area of high pressure on the surface. This is why we see an area of high pressure or the Kalahari as um, strong during the winter is because during the winter you have a strong subsidence you have cold air and cold air sinks down and so it creates an area of high pressure which we call the Kalahari high pressure um, the second most important thing that we have to talk about is the inversion layer look the topography of South Africa looks like this so this is a cross profile of the topography of the country you'd find that in the interior of the country we have the plateau which is a high-lying flat um, area and then we have what we an escarpment now an escarpment is nothing more than basically a steep slope that is found usually found on the edge of a plateau okay so structure over this structure over here that is steep and um, that is found on the edge of this plateau, we call that the escarpment. On country side of the country, you'd find the Indian Ocean, and the Indian Ocean, um, when it evaporates, when the when its when its waters evaporate, they produce warm, moist air. So you get warm, moist air, and warm, moist air tends to rise up because it is light and less dense now as this as this warm moist air rises up we know that normally what happens is that it would get cooler and cooler so its temperature will decrease as it rises up so that's what usually happens when you have warm moist air rising up it usually gets cooler and cooler right now cold air tends to sink down so cold air you'd find that cold air sinks down and so it puts applies a lot of force on the surface but as cold air sinks down um, it but as cold air sinks down it warms up in a, in a process that we call adiabatic warming so as this cold air sinks down it's going to warm up so it gets warmer and warmer so i'll just use the color red to indicate that it's getting warmer and warmer it's getting warmer and warmer over there um, it's getting warmer and warmer while the warm moist air from the indian ocean gets colder and colder or cooler and cooler as it rises up now you'd notice you now you'll notice that in this region right here in this region in this layer you'd find that um, you have cool air on the surface so this is cool air and then you have warm air above it okay so what does this imply so you and you have warm air above it 
So this implies that as you rise up, okay, so as you move from this point going up, as you can see, the temperature increases. But normally we know that the temperature really decreases as you rise up. And so this is what we call the inversion layer. This is how it is formed. This is how it is created. As you rise up, as if you were to be, if you were to walk from this point going up, you'd find that it gets warmer and warmer. That would indicate that you are in an inversion layer. Now, this inversion layer is critical to explain how seasonal weather is influenced by the Kalahar, especially in the interior and the eastern part of the country. So let's begin with the winter. How does the invention layer um, help in explaining how the Kalahari High influences South Africa's seasonal weather? So during the winter, um, we know that we have cold air, as we said, and we know that the Kalahari will be strong because there's a strong subsidence. There is cold air and cold air tends to press against the surface and so and so it tends to exert a high pressure on the surface. That's how, um, an, an, area, that's how an area of high pressure is created. Okay. So, um, this is a diagram illustrating what happens during the winter. Now, as we said, that during the winter, the Kalahari High is strong. Okay, so it is strong. And so we see a strong subsidence of cold air. As you can see that the, this cold air really pushes against the surface. And so we see an area of high pressure that will be created on the surface because of this strong subsidence. Now, because of this strong subsidence, the cold air, because of this strong subsidence, the cold air pushes the inversion layer down. Um, below the escarpment so it pushes the inversion layer down below the escarpment and so as you can see the inversion layer that means move downwards because the cold air is pressing against it now now the warm air from the now the warm moist air from the indian ocean cannot penetrate so that will lead to the warm air from the indian indian ocean unable to penetrate through to enter into the interior and so it is basically blocked from entering by this inversion layer and and if it would have entered it would have been able to rise up cool down condensation would have occurred and it would have formed rainfall but in this case since it cannot penetrate or um, go through the inversion layer uh, what we see is that we see stable weather so stable weather results now stable weather is basically characterized of clear skies calm conditions um, and just basically a calm weather so that this is why we see a calm and so in winter we see stable weather due to this strong subsidence of the Kalahari High pushing down the inversion layer so such that pushing down the inversion layer such that it blocks the warm moist air coming in from the Indian Ocean. In summer you <clears throat> in summer in summer temperatures begin to rise up. In summer you have generally temperatures across the country and so if you have warm temperatures so and so if you have warm temperatures across the country the land begins to warm up and so it also warms up the air that is above it such that the air will gain a lot of energy and it will tend to rise up okay and so if it rises up how much pressure does it apply or how much force does it apply on the surface yes it definitely applies a low pressure on the surface or you can say that an area of low pressure is then created due to the rising warm air. You, you we usually get on a synoptic map you'd find this low pressure 
on the interior of the country and that low pressure system we call it the thermal low low pressure system that is formed due to high pre high temperatures that form that is formed due to high temperatures that form due to high temperatures that we get during the summer and so the kalahari high it becomes weak and we have a weak kalahari high and so that means we have a weak subsidence if so and so if we were to envision this and so if we were to envision this um, by looking at a diagram or a cross section across the eastern part of the country yes we still do have that um, indian ocean um and you have warm air warm moist air coming in but now this time around because because you have more warm air rising up than And so, in some of the Kalahari, <coughs> in some of the Kalahari, uh, because there's uh, because there's weak subsidence, warm air, warm air rising up, cold air sinking, cold air sinking down, and so the Kalahari high is weak. And so, what happens is that if it is weak, and then that would guess to be, guess to be, guess to be, guess to be lifted. And and so, if this inversion layer is lifted upwards, this implies that. The warm air, air will be able to penetrate or rise up the escarpment and enter the interior where it then rises up, cool down and form clouds. And so we start to see formation and so we start to see formation of clouds due to and, start, and so we start to see formation of clouds due to condensation that occurs and therefore it then rains so in the country in the interior of the country due to kalahari and so in the interior of the country due to the kalahari high we then get to see summer rainfall we have summer rainfall and we have a dry and we have a dry and cold and we have a dry and cold winter If you enjoyed this video please like if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe thank you so much